everybody. It is me, Denise K, and I am so happy to be here with you. I am also here with Donovan Doran Rocks and hiding his hands to be. And this is the Demetra K Show on Facebook, YouTube, and the podcast. And so I'd just like to say thank you to Donovan for making all of this possible, for uh, helping the message go just a little bit farther. So I'd also like to say thank you to you guys for being here on Facebook, YouTube, and the podcast. And so I'm going to give people just a second or two to come on here so we can discuss our topic. Um, and I'll repeat it a couple of times so that nobody is lost. And the topic is, while everyone is fighting for immigrants, who's going to fight for black people? I will say that again. While everyone's all fighting for immigrants, who's going to fight for black people? And so, I don't see who's on here, but hello to you guys, and I'll go ahead and get started with my notes for the sake of time. Okay. And, and a uh, disclaimer, Facebook has changed their uh, format, so it took a little longer to... Right, no, actually it was Donovan's fault. He's yes. always on CTP. Yes, time. I am, yes, so I actually, am. Actually, that was my fault. I was trying to, um, it, it looked like Facebook changed the format, which mm -hmm. I like. I kept, um, my wording kept disappearing. I was like, where'd it go? So, I figured it out. But anyway, hey Sydney, what's happening? Yeah, um, I just pooped it over to the side and pat it down. I'm not sure if I'm going to let it grow or cut it again. I guess stay tuned, right? So, okay, I'll go ahead and get started. And so, uh, you say you got a better hairline than me. <laughs> <laughs> now I do. It might, I don't know if it's receding, but... <laughs> so anyway, the purpose of this show is to um, talk about things that go on in our community regarding black love, knowledge, and understanding in order to make us better people. Hey, Hannah, what's happening? So I'll get going. While everyone is fighting for immigrants, who's going to be fighting for black people? Okay, as it, as it has been widely reported, America's immigration issue has reached a boiling point. Specifically, Trump immigrant family separation policy has come to the forefront of an international debate. Now, under Trump's policy, immigrants who crossed the border illegally um, were being separated and were being detained. The parents went to a criminal detention center and the children went to a separate detention facility. Now, the ideology behind the separation was that children could not go to jail with their parents because it's considered a criminal act to cross the border illegally, right? Okay. And so I'm just giving you guys a little background so that way you won't say what are we talking about here, what's the immigrant issue, so I'm giving you guys a little background. All right, now back in April, Attorney General Jeff Sessions made it very clear while he was visiting the Mexican border that there would be a zero tolerance um, policy and people who cross the, um, the border illegally would be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Okay, now fast forward to a couple of weeks ago, pictures of immigrant children, I'm going to get to you guys' comments in just a second. Uh, pictures of immigrant children being kept in cages began to surface and all hell broke loose. Politicians and protesters um, and supporters of the policy began to make their voices heard. The more the protesters protested, the more the Trump administration doubled down on the zero tolerance policy. You guys saw his Secretary of Homeland Security um, saying that it is what it is, basically, it's the law, we're not going to waiver for it, but that, obviously that was then. Okay, and then so, and then uh, the Trump uh, administration had a change of heart. Trump signed an executive order that ended the separation of families, but people are still unhappy because many of the children are not accounted for. So I guess they're saying about 2,500 or so children were separated, and so now they're still trying to put them back together. And some of them, they're like, okay, well, we don't know exactly where they are, who belongs to who, so it's a mess. And um, let me correct you. Uh, Trump administration did not have a change of heart. His executive order does not change anything. It right. just keeps everything low. Everything is still in motion. Yeah, they said there's a lot of now, now he's just going to put the kids with the parents in custody, right. which he can't do, but that's the executive order. Right. So basically, they're saying they're not going to separate. Right. Uh, from now on, they're not, they're not going to separate the boy. Like you said, it's still kind of like... Up in the air. Yeah, up in the air. Very arbitrary, if you will. Okay, and so, on a side note, the separation of the family policy did not start with the Trump administration. It started with the Obama and some say Bush administration. In fact, the photos of the children in cages that began to surface were actually taken under the Obama administration. In fact, Many children who were detained during the Obama administration ended up in the hands of human traffickers. Um, I guess they, I, 
they're, I don't I'm know Obama that, for everything. But they it did happen. It did happen. Truth, it did happen. Mm -hmm. So, not to blame Obama, but it's not exclusive to Trump. Mm -hmm. They just ratcheted it up, if yeah. you will. Okay. And then so, um, let's see. I hope I've covered all the bases and um, the basis of what's going on. Now, let me make this very clear. I do not advocate for the separation of families at the border. I do. Donovan, no, I'm <laughs> saying, I, I, I don't know if he's serious, but, okay. Um, now, with that being said, everyone has taken up the cause of the immigrants. Even a lot of our so-called black leaders or misleaders, however you want to classify them. We've seen uh, Kamala Harris fighting for <laughs> immigrants nonstop. We've seen Al Sharpton, uh, Sheila Jackson Lee, just a whole host of other mm -hmm. black um, a lot of the uh, news commentators, black news commentators. News commentators, so they, you know, the figureheads, I guess, if you will. We've seen them and heard them rally on behalf of immigrants, okay? And now, so, uh, let's see, where did I go? Um, hell, I've even seen many of the people on my social media timeline ranting about it. I made a statement that basically said, I hope to see black leaders go hard for us like they are for the immigrants. <laughs> and some of my black friends took issue with that, okay? Some assumed that I didn't care about immigrants. Some said that black and brown people need to unite and laugh out loud because <laughs> most brown people ain't trying to unite with black people. I mean, nope. keep it real. That's not their mission here, okay? Nope, not at all. And we'll get into that a little bit later. That, I'm going to every one and, of those and, comments. And, and that's why it's so funny. A good portion of Hispanics are Republicans. Right. But people won't talk about that, mm -hmm. though. Okay? And then, so, uh, where, where, where else did I go? And then I said, it's amazing how we take for others before we take for ourselves. So I ask you all here today, while everyone is fighting for immigrants, who's going to fight for black people? By the way, someone recently um, asked what side of the debate I'm on, and I told them that I don't have a side. And he told me, well, you got to pick a side. And I said, well, if I to pick a side, I'm on the side of my people. Right, right. Plain and simple. So if that makes any sense, so I'm going to get to you guys' comments. Um, it is a whopping 90 degrees here. Not too bad, but if you guys start to see me sweat, that's why, right? No, she's sweating because she's sitting next to me. Yeah, I'm sitting <laughs> a bunch of, to a, a lot of hot air. <laughs> okay, and then, um, and then let's see, Charles, what's happening? He says, you're just beautiful either way. Well, I appreciate you so much for that. Hey, Robin, what's happening? And Derek says, hi, Demetra. How is it going, Queen? It's going fabulous so far. Um, oh, yeah, <laughs> Robin says, Wrong emoticon. Or, uh, <laughs> uh, don't worry. <laughs> it's all good here. All right, and Adam right. says, if you're black and the answer isn't me, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, I did. <laughs> and Cindy said, well, some of these illegals went far north as New York. I would like to know when this happened. My tax dollars should not be used here because he's in New York. Yeah. Okay, and Charles says, a misdemeanor offense treating these people like the, uh, this uh, this is unacceptable. I don't care who it is. We have empathy and compassion and outrage about this. Yes, it adds to numerous racist, sexist, bigoted, let's see, mm -hmm. um, acts by Trump, Obama, Bush, and consistent with white supremacy and colonialism. You gotta okay, come on the show. You gotta come on the show. Anonymous, anonymous clapping. And yeah. then, uh, uh, there's is uh Timmy said shaking your head when you said that you are uh, <laughs> you are on the side of separating. I think he was joking, y'all. And Hannah said under the uh, Obama, those kids came alone, unaccompanied children was the term. Okay. So there's some back and forth that because I've heard that um some of them were with the parents, so I don't know for sure. Yeah, you gotta you know, and my thing is about separating the families. Hey, if it happened to us, it should happen to everybody. We want you to get the full experience of this white man. We got <laughs> okay. I want you to make sure when you come to America, you get the full experience <laughs> of uh, you know how he does others. We gonna get into okay. that. Good, good, good. <laughs> they need the full experience. They need the full experience. Right. When you come to America, this is what <laughs> don't come here. Right. Hey, OG, you say they don't like us. Okay, we gonna get into that. That's it. Cindy says, so what emotions were you going for? Never mind. Don't want to know. It's <laughs> 90 degrees here in New Jersey. Oh wow! Well, and it's yeah. humid in New Jersey. Yeah. Okay, I would just say this because, as I said before, I'm not saying that I think that um, the, the separation should take place, but I just think there's a lot of things that not just black people, but people in general, the conversation that we're not having here. For one, as I said at the beginning, we have a lot of our black leaders who are continuously showing us that everybody else is going to be a priority. And mm -hmm. I'm going to start calling them black misleaders. 
everyone else is a priority but us then we'll get back to you you know and that means and they never get and back they to never us. get back to us and guess what we continue to vote for them and i'm going to show you guys uh, can i show them you this time is that okay mm -hmm. show you guys donovan <laughs> so that way you won't um think i'm just you know like talking to a ghost that's donovan okay so um we continuously have our leaders fighting for other people but they like imagine if um, I haven't heard anything from Maxine Waters, so I don't know where she's at and seen things. But people like Kamala she's Harris. She's worried about her election. That's what they're worried about. Is that, that what that is? They, she doesn't want to make any waves Got because, it. you know. But imagine if those people went hard for us like they do for everybody else. We we might be a little bit further along. I mean, I'm thinking. I mean, these people are at the borders and they're, you know, at people's houses. They're like, go, and I'm not mad at them, mm -hmm. but it's like, wow. What about us? Like, but, they don't think wait, wait, go wait, 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 but, but, but we had a black rally in St. Louis for that kid that got shot. How many black congressmen rallied up there with those guys? Oh, you mean the little boy in Philadelphia? No, no, no. Uh, a while back, that kid got oh, shot in St. Louis. Oh, okay, yeah. Louis. How many black leaders converged over there and with, with the protesters? I mean, no. they might tweet about it, but... Yeah, they don't show up when it comes to a black issue. When it comes to uh, anybody else, they're right there getting the news. Right. But I guess we also got to ask ourselves why our black leaders don't feel compelled to rally on our behalf. I know the answer, but I want to see if somebody else will answer. Hey, our son, how are you? He says, hi, how are you? Sorry, but I'm late and nobody right on time. I missed it, but do I need to, I, but I do need to know about these kids. Has this situation just come out of nowhere or was um, it this way before? I mean, basically, I want to find out what everybody is attacking Trump about. Like, what did, um, what did he do or start? Well, from what I understand, the uh, amount of children that were being separated was double yeah. within a, uh, from April until now. Right, so and it, everybody's saying 2,300 kids are missing. Yeah. Now, remember, this stuff is still being enforced. So that number has gone up at least by 1,500 right. by today. Right. And we're talking about over 3,000 something kids have been separated from their parents. Right. Just because they get on the news and say, we stopped this, it has to trickle down that order. So they're still gathering True. people. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. And then so, and the other thing I wanted to talk about, now this might be very unpopular, but I'm gonna say it anyway because it's just a fact and I'm not on anybody's side, like I said, but I do like to look at facts. And one of those facts is that it's illegal to cross the border. And so, like from what I understand, you, can you go over to Mexico and just, just, just over there whenever you want no. to? no, uh, Japan, any of these other countries, you try to overstay your welcome. Yeah, you can't just cross over to anybody else's border and say, oh, okay, well, here, just come on over here and, you know, we'll see what we can do. And again, I'm not saying it's right what they're doing to the children, but we need to address that issue. Like, for me, if I heard that people were locking people up and separating the kids and stuff, I'm not going over there. Mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, that's my nephew that's calling me, and I told him I won't lie. Ah! Hey, I don't know if you guys can still see me. Mm -hmm. Finish. Okay. No, there, yeah. Lord have mercy. I, I apologize for that. God, he keeps calling. Okay, you know what? There you go. Hold on one second, you guys. Can you tell Deanna to tell Isaac to stop calling sure. me? Sure. Please. That is my, you guys, my nephew somehow is on Facebook. Uh, he has a messenger, and so he keeps calling me. Why, I don't know. He wants to talk to his Tia. That's fine, but... <laughs> I'm busy here, so I, I've had my daughter call his parents to tell him to interrupting my broadcast here. Anyway, as I was saying, it's illegal. Okay. It's illegal, and nobody wants to address that. And, you know, just as black people, it's funny to me how we champion the weirdest things. Not, not that champion um, on the side of uh, immigration, uh, immigrants being separated, but... You can't go commit a crime and have a hundred thousand people, millions of people. You won't have millions of people <laughs> around and on your behalf, they're gonna say, Well, you shouldn't have broke the law. Right. Absolutely. Okay, and so Sydney is a weird <laughs> Sydney says, All I know is I'm sick of us helping everyone else out and I'm only a small mind uh only a small I'm minority of us. Yes, I can brother. help us. Exactly. And then Sydney says, the conversation also needs to realize the war on drugs started since. Mm -hmm. True. 
And the Hannah says, separation is not the tragedy. Losing the kids are a prolonged process. Also, there are people making millions, housing, feeding, con uh, yeah, controlling, that, transporting, and clothing them. And that's what they were saying under the Obama administration. Um, a lot of the kids that end up with, yeah, with the human traffickers, they weren't not, I don't think they were being sex trafficked, but they were being trafficked um, to do, um, what do you call it, like farm labor and, you know, child labor is what these kids were doing, and uh, they didn't know. But to your point, a lot of these people were just taken for the money and the labor and stuff. And everybody else has to think about this. Trump bragged about what a great negotiator. He's the best there ever. He just went over to Korea and gave all these concessions when Korea didn't give nothing. Right. And then if, if there's a problem with the border and things like that, why is he not talking to the leaders of these countries where they're letting their people come over here nilly-willy? Wouldn't that help stop right. some of the flow? Or is this a, or is this a conspiracy? Right. Well, I mean, y'all getting real deep now. And hey, he says, but in order to seek asylum, you have to be on U.S. soil. And so that's the other thing. A lot of them are saying, well, hey, I'm trying to get uh, political asylum here. I'm fleeing persecution or whatever the case is. But uh, I guess at the border, they're like, well. Yeah, but, but is, is, your, is your boyfriend or husband beating your ass persecution? And that's a good question. Like, how many people are really trying yeah. to get political asylum? Or are you just trying to come over here? Like, don't lie to kids. Yeah. Are you really just trying? Because I personally know people mm -hmm. who are only here and maybe not so documented. They're starting mm -hmm. to get that way now. But, you know, and especially before Trump came into office and, you know, this big old immigration thing, people were just like, I'm here. And, you know, it's, <laughs> and, and, and isn't this funny? We have American citizens living on an island in Puerto Rico where half the island still doesn't have power. But we fight for people. And again, I'm not, there's no shade to immigrants, but we're fighting for people who have somewhere to go, but to your point, Puerto Rico is not even 50% operational, but yeah, we even forgot all about that, and they're part and, of the U.S. Yeah, and they're U.S. citizens. Unbeknownst to Trump. Yeah, yeah, of course, right. Of course. And then Charles, he says, um, because we still stuck carrying the water of the Democrat Party in the church and for free. The corporate media and corporate politicians you, don't give a F about us. Let's see. About us. We don't make our money strength felt because we continue to buy and spend within white American immigrant stores in our community. And yes. honestly, that is the root of the problem. Not only are we always fighting for everybody else's causes, but we spend our money to people who will never give back to us. Yes. Won't ever re even recognize us, to, you know, anywhere. And I hate this. This is an argument I really, 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 really wish people would stop using. And that is... Black and brown people need to stick together. <laughs> I really wish we would stop doing that because we're trying to stick with people who aren't necessarily trying to stick with yeah. us. They're not coming over here to say, well, now we're going to go help mm -hmm. black people nope. overtake this thing. They're like, we're trying to be above black people. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be better than black people. Mm -hmm. And so, Alex, that's me. Um, and we're trying to be better than black people. And Dr. Claude Anderson talks about that all the time. He says, Y'all some silly Negroes, and I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. but it's like y'all want to rally for DACA and all these other things. They, they're coming over here to overtake you. They're not coming mm -hmm. over here to help you. They're mm -hmm. coming over here to replace you. Mm -hmm. So, and, I agree. It, and the city says, well, I know until late 2000s, we could walk to Canada. Yes. Can't do that anymore. Can't do that anymore. You can't even go to Mexico, Tijuana. Without right. Passport. Maybe you just walk right on over. Mm -hmm. Right. And then uh, Charles says, uh, that looked like uh, Penn State, uh, oh, he's talking about your cat, looked like the Penn State, Nittany Lions. Nittany Lions, okay. Yeah, that's the infamous Thailand. If you see the screen moving behind us, that's him. That's bad Thailand, <laughs> okay. okay. And then he says, Cindy, that says, I have um, friends in South America, and they said it's getting bad. We caused a lot of it, meaning the yeah. government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if you, uh, I went to uh, Mexico about three months ago, mm -hmm. and on our side of the border, there's no troops that we have uh, a retail shop and outlet malls right on the uh, border there. Mm -hmm. You go to the Mexico side, they've got armed guards with guns. Right. Soldiers. They've got armed soldiers. So you try to get over there, they're going to handle your situation for you. Yeah. And then so Sydney says, and Flint has no clean water. Um, and he said, uh, USDI still have issues. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, those things, like we just, just stop and drop everything that we have going on. And it's like, we're like, I'm not calling the immigrants a distraction, but I think it's a distraction, it a distraction. to distraction. us. Mm -hmm. It's a distraction to us because we have other things we need to be doing. And every time we start gaining momentum in something, a distraction happens. 
and then we lose that momentum. Right. I, 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 to me, it's baffling. I don't understand it. And then what I don't understand, too, is I'll have Negroes trying to come at me sideways. Like, I'm not asking something that's like a foreign time, but maybe it is foreign. Maybe people cannot actually conceive of the idea that we need to be, you know, helping self first. First law of nature is self-preservation. Self we can't help everybody else if our mm -hmm. stuff is rocky and unstable, right? Well. And then uh, Ken, you say, and hello, by the way, it says, politics does nothing but distract us from what we should uh what should be the main focus and we should have read that comment but because you're absolutely right we are but you know what we fall for it every time we fall for it like i said i know immigrants um plenty of immigrants some over here not mm -hmm. documented some are are documented but i mean that does that mean i forget about who i am and the things that we go through i mean like i posted on my page um uh, it was an Antoine uh, Rose, the young man that was murdered by the police officer in Philadelphia. I said, I wonder when everybody is done uh, rallying for the immigrants, are they going to swing over this way and say something about the um, boy who was murdered and told no, no. by the shot in the back? Yeah, no. Uh, Unarmed. They are more concerned about Black China being dropped by her 18 year old <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, you know, and uh, right. Kardashian something going on. You know, it's right. just funny how people know all about that stuff, but they don't know what's going on in their right. community. Hey, Anthony, what's happening? I think uh, you see even dropping some jewels on your page today. Mm. And then Cindy says, wondering what happened to the black illegal immigrants. And yeah, that's something people don't the talk Haitians. about either. Right. What happened to the Haitians? Uh, we know anytime they saw a boat full of Haitians in the ocean, turn them like, back. That turn them back. Turn them around. They're not, you know. Put no feet over here. Or better yet, if the camera's not on, shoot the boat. Right, okay? So, I mean, and, but that's a beautiful point. Cause nobody's talking about them. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are some black immigrants, but you would think that there's not. You would think that it's just about Hispanic the, the, the Hispanic, which mm -hmm. we know truly that's what it's about. That's really what this is about. And the sad thing is, these Hispanics are Trump, Trump, Trump. So hard. Why, though? And, you know, I was doing some... um looking at some statistical data if you will hey amanda he says if we allow this as a people and they get rid of these immigrants you say if we allow this is he said who's next well again let's well it's not who's next how about who they did it to first because we know they've been separating black people since we got over here you know the middle passage you know we were being separated slavery Jim Crow, how this family's being separated right now through the jail system. Let, you know, a mama uh, sidestep one way or another the wrong way. CPS is coming in. So, I mean, uh, families being se uh, separated under uh, in the black community is nothing new. Like I said in the beginning of the show, you want to you experience America? We're going to give it all to you, baby. Right. And then, but to, that, <laughs> to the point of mine, it's like, okay. I'm not, listen, I, we can argue whose land it was first and all that other stuff, but it's like, if it's illegal for you to do these things, yeah. why are we even arguing that? It's like, I want to come, that's like somebody breaking into your house and then, you know, saying, I live here now. I want to, I'm going to, I'm fighting to stay here. And so what are we going to say? Well, well, you know, it's wrong. We shouldn't separate your ass about my house. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very glad you brought that up because if the, those guys that are listening, if you get a chance, go on YouTube and there's a show called The Shea Show. And this guy deals with homes up in Detroit that have been like uh, rented out mm -hmm. or buying the property dirt cheap. And you will see what this guy deals with when it comes to squatters and stuff. I can imagine. They know that they don't own that property. And he'll show up and he'll be like, like a drug dealer will take over the house, right? They'd be like, well, you got to show me some paperwork because, you know, there's tricks in the court system. <laughs> right. Why? If I'm the owner, I don't need to show you anything. But that's kind of what it's yeah, like. So exactly. I'm coming over here, mm -hmm. and then now I'm going to call you the big bad wolf because right. you want me to leave. Leave, right. Exactly. Hey, Al, I saw you texting me. I'm like, what does he mean it's not on my page? Everybody else is here, but I'm glad to see you here. He said, good news. Sean King is receiving the BET Humanitarian of the Year Award tonight. I fully believe he deserves it. Now, listen. Speaking of Sean King, I don't have no issue with Sean King. He talks about the immigrants, but that dude yeah. goes hard for black people. Yeah, he, does. he does not have a problem with calling out the white establishment for what they are. So my, my hat off if I had one to Sean King. Yeah, it, 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 isn't he getting that Instagram model? No. no. <laughs> he he yes, would have sucked him. Yes, I'm okay. Instagram model. Now, wait, wait, wait now. Hopefully, uh, 
Sean King doesn't get up there like Jesse Williams. Right. Ah, oh, you know, to, to my black queen. Yeah, right. Honey, we love you. And then six months later, right. you done left her for a white right, woman. Right, right, right. I hear that. Yeah. Now, says, let's see, uh, I heard they are building the Amistad as we speak with <laughs> I ain't getting on it. Well, but, you know, but are we on it already, though? Exactly. Are we, uh, are we on my, it? Uh, my, my beautiful queen, uh, get us two first class tickets. <laughs> Mama, get y'all two first class tickets. Yes, we, we out of here. Mamba out. I don't know if you want to go on that on the side, okay? And then uh, Charlie says, I don't agree with that. They are desperate people seeking a better way of life. They are under the same propaganda, too, just like us. I truly believe the language barrier is the biggest difference. Um, let's see. The biggest difference. Dimitra, didn't you say that the census classified them as Caucasian Latino? Yes. They are exercising hope, putting action in uh, behind it, and taking advantage of their opportunities. That, of course, is just my opinion. We can care about several issues. Yes, I agree. But why can't, why, like, to me, it's a diversion tactic. Right. Okay? Now, you answer, you answer me this. Why are they classifying as white? Why are they doing that? Because why don't they classify as black? Right. Or Hispanic, or like they Hispanic. used to. Why, why are they doing that? And so, uh, yes, they're, they're hopeless and desperate people, but hell, so are we. Right. Get yourself in a car and drive down the street, and you going to hope and be desperate yeah. that you don't get pulled over by the next trigger-happy police that doesn't like you for whatever reason and murder you or any other thing. So they're not going through anything that we as a people are not going through. And so, again, I'm not saying that I don't have any sympathy for them. I do, but I think that we need to stay focus on ourselves because I guarantee you once immigration is not an issue for Hispanics or anybody else they're not going to say okay black people let's help you let's out let's help you out and I want one of y'all one of y'all on here on here and on the podcast to name me one Hispanic leader just you know what I the have a black. one mm-hmm. I have a one that rallies for black people the way we rally for them I'll wait <laughs> And as Cindy says, history repeats itself, though. To answer your question, Jews funded and voted for Hitler. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, but those are things they'll never, ever Yeah, tell. That's, that's the banking establishment, right. which is still going on to this very right. day. Everybody knows the Bushes are not. Right. You know. And Anthony, I think you were laughing at how I said you were dropping Jews on your page. I don't mm-hmm. know that is funny, but... Uh, mm-hmm. And as Cindy says, funny how the drug dealers know the law. Well, you know, somebody yeah. once told me, you can't break the rules if you don't know them. Right. You, right. you got, you know... You, I'm sure the drug dealers know the law. <laughs> well, you know, they know how to stay there long enough in their rights, but right. uh, technically, if you're asking me for paperwork, and this is my, you know, okay, think about the logic of this. You go on vacation for three months, and you come back. So because you've been gone for three months, somebody could just occupy your house? And you wasn't here. <laughs> yeah. You know, that doesn't hey, Carmen, he says, black immigrants were sent back on those makeshift boats to die at sea like the Haitian immigrants. Mm-hmm. Yes. But they, nobody talks about that. Nobody right. is talking about those because it's not just Hispanic immigrants. There's immigrants from everywhere. Africa, all kinds of Right. Nobody of talks about Cambodians right. or any of those other people. It's all about really Mexico. Mm-hmm. If you really you don't want to break so it down. El Salvador, Mexico, yeah, all those people. Because because not really Mexico. Because like, like I've been telling people and trying to wake people up. He wants to build the wall not to keep those people out. He wants to keep us in because where are the uh, corporations setting up shop? In Mexico, so the Mexicans have no reason to come over here right. anymore. They get a job. Yeah, because in California, especially where we live, where are the jobs here? There are not. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are, that's what I'm saying. But the manufacturing jobs are right over there in Tijuana and right. Mexico City. If you want to make $25 an hour or whatever, or $60 an hour, whatever they're doing, that's good money there. That's, that's the whole point. Right. And then uh, Sydney says, Sean King conversation on Black Love Show a must watch. You know what? I mm. just want to see that because he really does love his wife. Um, and then Charles says they. Well, what about a side He ain't got no. I hope he ain't got no side too. Uh, and Charles says they have unity. We don't yeah. exactly. So yeah. why are we unifying with people who are already unified? Charles, please, brother, yeah. help me out. We like need to unify first. Like I'm not. What do they say on the airplane to you? What What are the instructions that they give you if you have a small child? Yes, issue? put your uh, your oxygen on first before you try to assist anybody else. Why am I gonna put on somebody else's oxygen mask, Charles? Before I right. put on mine. You're gonna pass out first. Right. Then you're I can't help nobody if I'm right. dead. And you can't help yourself. Right. Because um, when all this broke out, I got a lot of emails people asking me my opinion on this, right? And people were shocked because I was saying 
uh, the Mexicans can help themselves. You know, they, they'll be all right. Yeah, I, again, it's atrocious what happened to the children. It is. However, I'm not going to bring my child and put my child in a situation of danger where I could possibly be separated for because what, what did we say on the last show last week? Um, Trump has been saying this for almost a year. If you come here, we are, Jeff Sessions said it, He's we are going to separate right the you. Border and right. then they instituted it. Why do people think they were blessings? Why, do, why don't they think fat means it's greasy? <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's see. Cindy says, so how bad is the border? They said, how, so how bad is the border really since I don't believe in media? Well, I've never, I don't think I've ever been to the border. I've never crossed into Mexico through Tijuana. Really? No. We're 90 miles from Mexico, folks. This is what's wrong with black I folks. I flew there, yeah, okay? okay. I right, flew to Mexico. Right. Mexico City. No, I actually was in Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cancun. Uh, I mean, not Cancun. Uh, Cabo San Lucas. Cabo San Lucas. Does it count? Yeah, it counts. Okay. So I, I, yeah, you're in the I don't know there. how bad the border is. Really, I've never the been. The border is bad. And so Donovan's a, a man of the world. He's saying it's bad. It's bad. And he also said, I have a Puerto Rican activist on my page, and she considers herself an Afro Latina. Right well, on. That's what they are. Uh, are you too? She's not going to know if she's single. We also say, meanwhile, those Russian illegals are having babies in Miami. Yes. But see, nobody's talking Nobody about talks that about kind that. of stuff, though. Nobody talks about that. Um, in our thing, we said, well, I'm kind of split between uh, because I'm Haitian Canadian, so my family immigrated here, and we had trouble getting my sister up here, too, et cetera. Anyway, the reason I'm saying this is I feel weird about, uh, let's see. And feel uh, weird about my opinion, but at least for the moment, black people quit paying attention to the situation of the Browns. We should not feel bad for the Mexicans to the point that no. our attention isn't yeah. focused on any black issues. And oh my God, did you say the you. guy who spoke? Did you see the guy that you uh, who spoke at the awards months ago? Give me props to the black queen's Mary White girl. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, I did say that. Mm -hmm. I did say that it was Jesse Williams when he played on um, Grey's Anatomy yeah, or something Anatomy. like that. Uh, yeah, he it was like two years ago or so. He's on the BET Awards, and he, man, that was, that speech just had everybody just This is we're eating it up. Oh, yeah, we're eating it up. Eating it up. We, we, we um, let you down for so long, we got you, and all this other stuff, and then he go leave us as one for a white one. Hey, you want to be on the winning team? <laughs> then he says, the question is how really bad, I really bad, I, 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 the question is how really bad is it? Like, is it really oh, bad? Uh, no, 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 it's not that bad because so now that most of the corporations have moved over there, mm -hmm. the situation's gotten bad. But in the border of Tijuana, the cartel, that's where a lot of the drugs come into California and the Arizona border right there. So a lot of the cartels control what goes in and off in, through that border. And I know somebody personally who had family members uh, murdered. Yeah, yeah, murdered. Yeah, murdered, yeah. Cold blood murdered yeah, by um, a cartel. As a matter of fact, uh, they can dig tunnels from Tijuana all the way under, up into Escondido. They have found tunnels being built. Yeah. Wow, built. Underground Railroad. Uh, exactly. Yeah, uh, 2018. And Carmen says Puerto Ricans have been struggling side by side with our black brothers. At least those who recognize they are part of. Uh, they are part um, black. The Schomburg. Uh, something like that. Center. Center. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, for Black History was started by a Puerto Rican, um, Arturo Chamber. Sure. Now, uh, here's my thing, and you know, and I hate, I'm not, I don't mean to disrespect anybody that's doing that. Um, I notice that a lot of people get their citizenship confused with their ethnic background. Oh yeah. Okay, so um, when you say Puerto Rican, I'm just asking a question. My understanding is Puerto Rican is still of the Latin grouping of African descent. Right. Like, you, know, you have some African in there. Right. We're all mixed up on that. But okay. like, there's only five colors. So, you know, when people say that they're, uh, I'm Scottish German. <laughs> it, you're not saying anything. You're just saying you're a citizen of two different countries or, you know, you guys get my point. What I'm saying is okay. you gotta, yeah, you gotta under, yeah, there's only five colors of, uh, in the world. And there's either you're black, white, whatever, whatever. Right. Uh, either you're Asian, you're black, you're white, you know, your nationality, I don't know why people think you're stupid and crazy at the same time. I, I guess you okay. can. I, 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 I guess you can. Cindy says, you flew? Yeah, I flew. <laughs> we was on vacation. We spent eight days in Cabo San Lucas. It was eight days too long for me. I was ready to come back, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Dean, he says, Russia's in Colorado also some mood in the house. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Once I get to the big Walmart, that's it. That's it. Yeah. 
Now it says, on the Tom Jordan Morning Show, Sean King had a list of do's and don'ts for black people dealing with the police. Absolutely. And then even when you follow that list, it's like, okay, this is yeah, there's something because, you know, here I am with a bullet in my chest. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm going to say something like, uh, uh, about my boy Al. Take your mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say something about Al real quick. Uh, for some reason, I'm not saying Al was, you know, like everybody else, he's distracted, living his life and stuff like that, whatever. But from the time that you guys have started uh, being together, his, his knowledge base, and I don't mean like what he doesn't know, I'm talking about his awareness have gone up significantly. Well, when you were a dope woman, then you should just can't help but to have your knowledge increase. I was just I'm sorry. I was <laughs> just playing. Okay, yeah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, yeah, I mean, that's a that's, that's hunger. Hunger, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. She says Latinos and Blacks should stick together. Yeah. But we will be stronger um, after all we've been making mixed babies. True, true that. Yeah. Now listen, I agree with you, I mean, we should be sticking together. But it's together. not going to happen. We should be, but I think that everybody should solidify their thing first, and then we can do that because we can't. You know what I mean? That, that reminds me of one time um, when I was probably like eight or nine. I was in the middle of a lake with a bunch of people, mm -hmm. kids rather, and I don't know what you call that thing. Was all of a sudden you're walking and you just sink. The water sucks you oh, under. Oh, the undertow. Undertow. An undertow took me and my friend under, and no joke, we were literally drowning. We we're drowning. And so we're pushing each other up. I got you, okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. But what we're really doing is just pushing each other mm -hmm. down so we can breathe like we were drowning. And so that's what we're going to be doing at this point. We're going to both be drowning until we right. figure out how to stay afloat ourselves. Now, in the story, her sister, I don't know, she came out of nowhere with this giant inner tube and we live. Okay, but, but <laughs> uh, uh, a question that I and a lot of people of your listeners want to know, uh, Al probably knows the answer to this. Uh, how would you even float with all that junk in your trunk? You just turn, you turn, you, you turn uh, yeah. on your back. Right. I don't know. I'm saying, you know, you, you and your sister, y'all got, you know, y'all the blessed a little bit. We know both women. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. You got a little bit blessed. You got a lot of weight back there. And Sweetie says, you have to remember they have a caste system in Latin and South, South yeah. America. Don't we got that here too? If you're if you dark, you know, and you're you at the bottom, you're the back of right, the back of the bottom. All that. Uh, and then, hey, Asada, you said, hey, D, hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. And Charles says, cold, what's cold? <laughs> and Al says, uh, Latinos are just black people that know how to swim. Yes. It's yes, yes, yes. Yes. We don't know how to, I know how to swim, mind you. I just yes. don't like to get in the water. Yes. Then he says, also, Donna, remember, you are as good as your spouse. Show me your woman, and I can tell you about the state of the community. Uh, Grand Daunt from Barbados used to tell me this. Yes, absolutely. Now, I want to go to uh, her, her Page is Afro Sundoa <laughs> uh, on Facebook, and that tells you a lot about the kind of women I deal with. I think he was making a comment. You were saying, like, yeah. I know. You said, go check out his credentials on Amanda's page, yeah. my sister, okay? Yes, yes. Look at some of them pictures. <laughs> and then he said, South America, the second largest African population, mm -hmm. right? So. Well, that's the continent. Um, he probably means, um, uh, I think the country is Venezuela and Brazil have a big African mm -hmm. American population. Right. So, I mean, that's all I'm saying about immigration. I'm not saying that it's right or any of that kind of stuff, um, that people are being separated. Because it's not. I couldn't imagine being separated from my child. I mean, I would, I, I would probably die. You Shit. Know? He turned 18. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> I'm done. I'm talking about when they baby. Oh, okay? yeah. Oh, even then. Hey. Really? If that's the way it's got to be? Yes. Now, wait, wait. I want these brothers to listen to this. Okay, they're separating these kids. The government doesn't know where they're at. Now, when it comes, <laughs> to, our, you know. <laughs> when it comes to our damn kids, they know everything, and we gotta pay all this damn child support. <laughs> they're not the problem finding. They got no problem finding us. Good lord, <laughs> it's sad. Yeah. Well, tell them to go delinquent on their child support yeah. or something. And come up missing that kid. If you're gonna track us, you mean to tell me you can't put these people in some kind of tracking <laughs> system? Give me a break. Come on, people. Let's wake up now. I mean, I mean, am I wrong for thinking that? I mean, it just... I think it's, it's, a, it's a good point. If you make a good point. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. Uh, yeah, well, you always got to find a way to bring the dog on child support in this. And it's 57 Brazil. Brazil, right. Uh, right, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Panama has 
a large African population. Yes, too. Lord. I've been there and I almost went AWOL. Yes, they did. You know, we talk about how he almost went AWOL for not wanting to come back from yes, Panama. They, they, had had to to they had to drag me on the plane. The engines were running. <laughs> uh, and the city says Brazil is number one outside of Africa. Mm -hmm. The damn Donovan. Everybody's laughing at me. <laughs> hey, Ed. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you need to call the Trump administration yeah. and the same track as this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You need to keep us, you know, make sure that them payments get made. Yeah. So all yeah. you bleeding heart sisters out there that want to take up that thing, just say, hey, just use the family support court system to, find them. to adjudicate these cases. <laughs> they have no problem using it against us. Yeah. Damn. Hey, Billy, what's happening? AWOL, yes, he said he almost yes, went AWOL. I almost went AWOL. They had to come get me. Because he was stuck in Panama. Yes, I was in a, uh, I went on a date, a blind date, and me and this girl were, you know, and she wasn't Panamanian, that's the bad thing. She wasn't Panamanian. Well, what was she? She was American. She was a soldier. She was a soldier. Yeah, she was an army, yes. Got it. Jackson, uh, Why didn't you just bring her back over here? No, he was about to be court-martialed and everything. Yeah, all that, I, was, huh? I was having such a good time. It was, I mean, you know, it was, it was a good time. I take your word for it. I thought she was, you know, you know what I'm thinking, she's Panamanian now. But the Panamanians, there's not an ugly woman in the country, in Panama. Even the older women look good. Okay. And then, uh, and he said he needs to hear the story. <laughs> yeah. That's one another time. That's when we want to do story time yeah. with Donovan. His, we're going to call it war, uh, back in the day, yeah, war yeah. stories. War stories. Right, he, I'm sure he's... Kind of like uh, Oliver North's thing, War Stories with right, Oliver North. Right, War Stories with Donovan. Right, right. And then uh, Carmen says, and you guys see her on here in Zoom, but I know where it's Carmen. Mm -hmm. uh, Donovan says, uh, uh, she says, Donovan made me laugh so hard I almost cried. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then he said, I'm not going to lie, I had a good time. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. It's true, though. It's true. I mean, you really think about it, right? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't go nowhere without my uh, <laughs> check being garnished or, or them serving me papers to show up for court. He's like, I'm in Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. How did you find yeah. me here? I'm over there. Process server. Yeah, I'm in Qatar. I get this message. Yeah, they need you to go to court in uh, 60 days. What? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Leavenworth was your future. <laughs> was, uh, Leavenworth was in your future. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. It wasn't worth it? No, no. <laughs> but the good thing is, you know, being an a aviator, is not a lot of us, you know, so. Right. You, oh, they need you to fly the plane. No, no, no. It wasn't my turn to fly, but oh. I was on that rotation, and they came and got me, and I was just like, I just lost track of time. That was the whole thing. Yeah, we okay. were smooching and stuff all night. Uh -huh. so I just lost track yeah, of time. Yeah, I was going on all yeah. smooching. Just smooching. Just smooching. Hey, Secret Garden, where have you been? And it Ed says, what's up with this immigrant kid thing? Well, I mean, as we were talking about, they've been uh, separating them from their families. The uh, people who are being detained, the adults, they are going to prison, I guess you could say, a detention center. And because the children can't go into the detention center with them, they are being separated in a different housing unit. And they're also saying that the kids are being kept in cages, hey, and they've shown pictures of the kids being kept in cages with, um, I guess, thermal blankets or yeah. um, uh, and mattresses on the floor. And how many times, it, and uh, financially, it costs approximately, they're saying, $800 a night. $800 a night, and that's not house. including them flying right. not including all over the country and stuff, right. And it's a lot of it's money. It's a lot of money. And, you know, but you, we don't have money for uh, food stamps, uh, school lunch programs. Uh, we we got a space force coming, you know. I mean, all this money that yeah, they love to spend. And that silly uh, news anchor, what's her name? Uh, Laura Ingram talking about it sounds like summer camp. Yeah, um, there there was also another anchor or a host that said that. No, she was on the show and she was a uh, uh, contributing, and she's saying some of the black people I said that, that oh, was better yeah. than them. Yeah, that they, they living better than black people. I was like, where is this? Yeah, at? where? Yeah, what? Okay. No. Just lying. Lying. Just, just trying to make it. And then why is everything equated negatively with black? Right. Like right. So, um. And then Al says, uh, child support to some baby mamas is nothing but a tax money holiday. That's it. <laughs> tax free. He says, Elijah Muhammad warned us that we are in the belly of the beast. Yes, yes we did. Yes, we are. Yeah, I mean, and Hello, we are. Brother. Hello. We, we most definitely are. I, and you know what? I made a comment on somebody's page yesterday. They were talking about, you guys have seen... Um, a lot of the politicians being run out of town and to the podcast you guys we're going to be right back mm -hmm. um they're being not run out of town but run out of the restaurants yeah. and stuff like that it was a Sarah Huckabee mm -hmm. uh Sanders she was ran out of a um some restaurant yeah, and, then, and, um, and, and then she shot right and then uh the uh Secretary of Homeland Security she was ran out of a Mexican restaurant and, and they're in front of protests in her house and they protest in front of her house and I said to somebody what I think we're witnessing is um the communist manifesto come to life yes 
Because that's what it talks about. And eventually, people are going to rise up against the machine and just... Right, and, and, and they're rising up for different reasons. That, right. That's the different thing, because a lot of people don't realize, wherever you guys are listening from, in California, I woke up today to go get some gas. Gas has now hit over $4 a gallon. How much are they going to squeeze us before we say we're done? Right, it's, it's coming. I see it. And it is, because I mean, I have a um, compassion and all. It's just crazy. Our tax cash is being siphoned off even more. And he said, you must realize we are next. Shoot, we ain't next. We, we've been in line. <laughs> we've been on the menu again. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we've been on the menu for a minute. Yeah, and then Cindy right. says, both of them should be fired. Mm. And then Charles says, this has been an issue since the 90s and no immigration reform. Um, it's, it is just another political football being exploited like abortion, like privatizing mm -hmm. everything and starving um, or uh, purposely neglecting. Uh, let's see. Oh, the public sector, which is supposed to be equal with the private sector regulated by Congress, but hey, class warfare is just what we have no problem being divided. But woe to the day we ever unite by common denominator income, equality, and health care access. Yes, and it's funny, we should have read that because that's mm -hmm. what the uh, Communist Manifesto talks about. It's not really about race as much as it's about class. Mm -hmm. You are, now we have the rich and the poor. There's a few people have hanging and on have not. in the middle class, but not very many. But for the mm -hmm. most part, it's the rich and there's the poor. And the poor are going to say, you know what? I, enough. We're going to have to go take it now. Right. You know? Right. And then Tegan Garden says, somebody is making $800 a night, okay? Yes. You, know, you can believe that. Um, These private businesses, oh, as yeah, a matter of fact, they, they don't even have enough um, border security guards to, to man this thing. So they, they contracted out security, right? Security and, every, and I'm sure they all connected to yes. somebody on the higher up. And Kate says the commentator's name is Rachel Duffy, a former contestant on MTV Road Rules and the Right, I remember, yes, yes. So she came over from MTV and now she's supposed to be this big time, hey. knowledgeable news hey. commentator talking about black people said they um, live living better than Hey, them. hey, 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 don't, don't knock the hustle. She got to make her money. I ain't knocking the hustle, but can you read a book <laughs> and, and stop lying on black people? I know now why you ain't talking to no black people and say, mm. girl, they living better than me. Mm. Uh, and Cindy says, uh, that was your page. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then he says, I thought Donovan hijacked your phone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that, uh, we were talking about that. Yeah. Oh, and I said, uh, oh, no, you were talking about the uh, Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I said, uh, yeah, she needs to shut up. Right. Or right. Like he said, uh, he thought I, you hijacked my yeah. phone. And Al says, will somebody please tell DJ Khalid to shut the F up? <laughs> Sounds like you just did. <laughs> and then he says, I think the prison population is next. Mm. Um, as far as what, being separated? What? Next what? And then Charles says, actually, I love that. We should have been rose up like that against these racist cops and thug police and uh, those blood suckers in our communities. I love yep. uh, the, them blocking ICE. I pray mm -hmm. this is the beginning. I pray this is the beginning of citizens standing up eye for an eye. This is, it was um, written about by... Um, Karl Marx and Fred Ingrid, uh, 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 Frederick Engels, mm -hmm. and they talked about the in the Communist Manifesto that there's all these classes, what is it, the uh, bourgeoisie, yeah. the proletariat, and the, the uh, dirt serfs, uh, the middle class, yeah, the working class, call the working class. Mm -hmm. But now we don't have, uh, we only have the have the, and the, have the have and the have not, and so eventually, um, the poor people are just going to rise up. And say there's nothing else we can do here, but you know exactly. we're not gonna starve. We're gonna take it. If we got to right. snatch it off well, the table, we gonna come get it. Again, if you guys really look at the history of the United States, uh, to be rich, you paid a high price to be rich in taxes. Mm -hmm. Now, when rich people do not want to pay their fair share, thus we get the roads we have now in the United States because that's money that we don't have. And if you've been paying attention to the budget, the exact budget that Paul Ryan wants to pass, the money that was given to the rich is the money he wants to cut in social programs and entitlement. Right. It's the same trillion it's, dollars. It's the same few greedy people who yeah. are trying to dictate the way the rest of everybody's going to live, but we'd have to be considered foolish just to lie down and take it after a while. You're, you're not going to watch your baby starve to death. You're going to do something about it. Nope, we know we're just going to take it because that's how we've been conditioned. For now, uh, but uh, I, I see that the ties are starting yeah. to change. Uh, because another good thing is, a good example, when you go to Walmart, when that door greeter 
asking for the receipt, you don't have to show your receipt. That is your property, unless so, you know you stole something. I'm so sorry, I'm trouble here. But I'm just saying that that's their way of conditioning right. you to bow to the state. Right. Because if you're willingly showing your property to somebody that you don't have to, the trans once you once you're given a receipt in the store, that is now your property. personal right. property. But people just don't know that. Though. Exactly. Every and time I leave out of there, I think about but, Donovan. But sorry, trouble. Yeah, no. But if you think about it though, if, if you're old lady the hard time. Yeah, line. yeah. But but but, <laughs> but if you're doing that, then right. What are you going to do when a policeman says, "Show me your ID." Show me your ID. Yeah, you're going to show the ID, and you don't have to unless it's a stop and frisk day. Right. Certain people don't have. Exactly. Okay. Arthur says, I find at least up here when people start saying stuff like um, to make it seem like Latinos and blacks are the same or that many Latinos are Afro Latinos and just as black as uh, us, like there's no difference. <coughs> there's no difference. Let's see. You be going in. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. No difference, etc. I'm sorry to say, but it's just wrong. Yes, of course, many Latino individuals feel um, for our situation, obviously, but I'm not going to look at them and change or just uh, or adjust our focus. The right. rule of the game, the rules of the game are just the same. Blacks still need, as a community, to presume they are alone in this and move on their own. All other communities, without exception, do it already. Why right. should it be an issue if we do? So. It's mm -hmm. great to be friends with whoever we want, white, like Latinos, mm -hmm. et cetera, but when it comes to what affects the entire community, it's black to making it all about us first. Yes. Um, Why is that a hard concept to it, follow? It isn't, um, and I'm glad you brought that up <coughs> because I have a neighbor right now. This guy moves from East L.A. He moves into my neighborhood, uh, thinks he can do what the hell he wants. He's my neighbor right next door, and he's the only person in this cul-de-sac that anybody has a problem with because he has no intention and my neighborhood's mostly Hispanic now. This guy has no intention of being a good neighbor. He figures, oh, you're this that Negro over here, the military guy, he's a younger Hispanic guy, can't speak a lick, barely can speak English, and he just thinks the world exists. This, but do you think that has something to do with him just being rude, or is it something to do with him being Hispanic? It has something to do with him being Hispanic here on the West Coast, because they're, I mean, when, when you're seeing these kids ride in the high schools in LA, the blacks and the Hispanics, they've been doing that since we were right right but, yeah, but not on the, the scale that they're doing right now because what it is is nobody wants to be because on the west coast people don't want to say that though they are considered the new niggas because they're doing jobs that nobody else wants to do so they're the new niggas and now what they're trying to do is say we're better than black folks and they're trying to put themselves above it that's why they have their own banks their own stores and all this other stuff well i would say they have their own stuff is because they do as charles said mm -hmm. earlier they have unified they yeah. unify yeah. they do have a, right. a working community mm -hmm. we don't have that because right. we're so busy trying to um fit in with everybody right. else let me go help you or, guys or we're intermarrying into their community right. well, but i i was married to a, a woman of hispanic background and i'm gonna tell you that was a hell in a hand basket in itself so basically you say stop giving the sisters a hard time because the sisters ain't the only ones that's doing what y'all keep the sisters are doing. Uh, no, that isn't what I'm saying. That's what I heard you say. No, all I'm going to say is Afro Thunder, I'm coming home, baby. That's what I heard you say. Afro Thunder, I'm coming back home. Uh, and Cindy says, Rachel married Sean, that Trump supporter who is in the House of Representatives. Oh, mm -hmm. so now she's got to speak on behalf of her mm -hmm. husband and them. Okay. And then you also say the prison population is about to do the work of the illegal immigrants. And they already are. Yeah. They already are. So that's a good point. And says, Blacks are next for them to be carted off in camp. History is repeating itself. You know what? I ain't been um, carted off. I'm going to have to disagree with that because, um, number one, they make so much money off of us. In oh, what we're doing right, already, right? Ninety-seven percent of our income goes right, already, right? Right. So I, I don't think that would be. I, I'm. I could be wrong, but I just disagree with you on that because they make so that's much money. That's when you don't see Negroes rise up. Okay, you right. talking? About I got to go pick cotton. When? Yeah. Yeah. No. When? That's where the Mexicans come in. They want another class of that because they know black folks we ain't having. And they ain't doing that. Right. And then uh, the thing is, farmers have no one to work the land. Exactly. Right. Well, I'd rather have my own uh, land to work. I don't want to be picking time for nobody else. And you say, uh, Paul Ryan is an ass. Oh, yes, absolutely. He is. And you know, the, and the funny thing is, you know, uh, for, uh, for months he was saying, "Oh no, I'm not retiring." You know, remember they were bringing yeah, that. Yeah, I thought he was retiring. And, and no, no, no. He said, "I'm not retiring." And then all of a sudden, he shifts and says, "Oh yeah, I'm retiring now." Cause he had denied. It. He goes, "No, I got right. too much work to do now." He's a lot of people don't want to believe this. Remember, he ran for vice president. Right. 
he's gonna lay low for a couple of years, become a lobbyist, make some money, and, and then he's gonna run. come back and run. Because he's barely young, what, young forties? Uh, he's forty three. Right, so So he's gonna he's, he's gonna run for president. And then yeah, Billy says, What about the King Alfred plan? Mm. Well, what is that? Do tell. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. You are, you are you familiar with it? Well I'm familiar with it. I don't Okay, well then tell us what that yeah. is. And then Al says Things are so different in the chocolate city that they are in, um, than they are in vanilla suburbs. White neighbors get two scoops of whipped cream and cherry. All the black hoods is get, get this kind of sprinkle nuts. This will mm. Charles says, what like Muhammad said, it doesn't take ten desperate men, one will do to start the revolution. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, and a lot of times, man. we think that the revolution needs to start outside of our home. It has to start in our home first with us and with the people we know uh, before we go out and try to save the world. It makes no sense if our neighborhoods, our homes are in disarray and then we're out there trying to put on a cake for everybody else. And so that's an excellent point. I think he says certain people, um, the North, you can't get away without showing your ID. 9-11 changed that. Well, 9-11 changed that for everybody. Yeah, 9-11 uh, changed it, but a lot of the laws, they didn't change the laws with 9-11. So if, you, if you're familiar with the laws, you don't, certain situations you don't have to. Some states are a stop and frisk, some aren't. You just got to know the law. Right. In California, uh, the Penal Code 148G, mm -hmm. most police officers should know that because that is their basic thing to stop you. They but have to have reasonable to suspicion. Know that if, I'm, if, I, if I'm a white cop, you're black or Hispanic or whatever, and I, my main objective is to subject yeah. you. I don't have to uh, recite any laws. No, no, you no, no, you don't. But you but, know what I'm saying? But they're right. like, you don't do what I say regardless. Right. You but, don't question me. But if you're reciting the law to them and they see that you know what you're doing, they don't know if you're a lawyer, they don't know what your situation right. is. Right. And it kind of makes them back off. And okay. uh, whenever I travel in California, especially when I head toward LA, everybody laughs at me. But in DC, seen it, I have a body camera. Donna and, has a few body Yeah, cameras. and and I have I have a glasses that have cameras. You ain't gonna be telling nobody about no. the bat secret. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you about that. But the thing is, though, when people are on camera, especially law enforcement officers, totally different. Because I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm looking for a lawsuit. <laughs> I'm looking for a lawsuit. So I'm your friend, so we just yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm getting you out of here. You're just funny. <laughs> yeah, and then Al says, I don't mind showing. Um, I don't mind showing, showing a wall on my receipt, but I hate the annoying ass Salvation Army bell ringer. <laughs> and he also said, my stepdad used to uh, stay in his line of business and work. He had to speak Spanish. And I said, yes, yeah, so that you know what people are calling your dumb ass. Right. Wow. Um, I, I've actually had that happen a few times yeah. uh, when people have said stuff. Yeah. I'm like, well, I understood that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to change the subject real quick, but I think uh, it's very important. Um, uh, for those that are going to be watching the video later on, um, D does a lot of uh, quick infomercial, infomercial commercials in regard to... Infomercials? In, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not selling anything. No, but you're, you're selling knowledge. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to give it away. Yeah, away. And, won't. <laughs> and recently in the news, um, you yes. talked about a woman that reported a girl trying to... And thanks, to, that's an awesome transition. I'm going to get this comment and then we're going to yeah, go right. ahead and show the video. You guys won't see it, but on a production, you'll be able to see it. Mm. Now, uh, Cindy says, Diamond, you are wrong. <laughs> that Tyler is about to uh, be in peace, and Ryan will be your VP, and they will have their uh, the votes for him. Well, we'll see. So yeah. anyway, let's go ahead and make a transition to something else. He says, um, El Foro, for, Foro? Oh, El Toro. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, El Foro, oh, that was an F, okay. Yeah. So anyway, as you guys have seen, and then Charles, let me get your comment down. Mm -hmm. He says, 911 basically voided the Constitution and yeah. gave the oligarchy full control mm -hmm. over U.S. citizens, as well as legally giving the president power to declare war, spy, detain without yeah. charges, and Charging you with a terrorist, right. Um, no due process. Exactly. Absolutely. Suspension of habeas corpus. And all, all the president's got to do is say, you're a terrorist. You have no legal ramifications, no legal right to even go to a court. Then you could be locked up for years. Right, which a lot of people are. are currently. All right, so let's make the transition now. You guys have seen in the news yet another white woman weaponizing the police against black people. This time, oh, sorry. <laughs> this time it was a little eight-year-old black girl. Dangerous. Dang, very very dangerous. dangerous, yes. And you guys know what she was selling? She was selling water bottles. Nah. In San Francisco. I heard she was selling crack. You think so? I mean, the way the lady was acting, you would have thought she was selling some crack. Mm -hmm. 
She's mad at the, um, the little girl for selling water bottles. Um, the San Francisco was hot. Apparently, I don't know if there was a game or something going on. It's or, hot there, yeah. It's hot. Mm -hmm. And so the white lady is ranting and raving that uh, the little girl didn't have a permit to do so. Okay. And so, you know, she's, uh, uh, she's alluding that she's calling the police. Yeah, is this, is this white woman a law enforcement No, this, this white lady uh, has a, you might be interested in this actually. She has a, a, a marijuana business that sells marijuana to pet. And probably to the people in back door. Right, right. selling pet, pet marijuana. Mm -hmm. So anyway, mad because the little girl is okay. I'll check that out, Billy. She's uh, oh my god. She's mad because the little girl's selling water. She doesn't have a permit, so she's saying that you know I guess she's calling the police. Um, and she goes viral. The lady's name is Allison Edel or something like and that. And she needs to be shamed. Yeah, she went viral, and then she, during the video, she tries to hide. She tries to hide the fact that she's calling the police. If, if you're thinking bad, yeah, right. bad, why are you hiding? And that's the little girl's mama who was recording. She said, nah, boo, don't try to hide. Yeah, what, 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 Come get this. Yeah, get all of it. Yeah, because you won't get attention. Now you're going to get it. So, of course, she tried to backtrack on her social media, saying that she's not racist. Mm -hmm. uh, what really made her mad was because the mama was screaming and hollering and making a bunch of noise and it was going on. Isn't it funny how the narrative keeps Changing, right. kind of like Trump when he says one thing and it right. changes later on down the road. But uh, before you catch, let, let's take a look at that video and then you guys chime in on the video cast and tell us what you think. Cold water for two dollars. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. She calling the police on an eight-year-old little girl. You can hide all you want. The whole world gonna see you, boo. Yeah, and um, illegally selling water without a permit. Yeah. On my property. It's not your property. Huh? A little girl was trying to sell bottled water so she could go to Disneyland. Now her story has exploded into a flood of controversy. That video of her neighbor calling the police now viewed more than a million times. Cold water, two dollars only. This morning, eight-year-old Jordan Rogers is an internet sensation for selling bottled water on the street in front of her house. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. This woman is Allison Edel. This morning, she's a social media villain for calling the cops on her young neighbor. Yeah, and um, illegally selling water without a permit. We don't know what happened leading up to this video being shot. Edel, being called Permit Patty online, says she was working at home upstairs, and Jordan's sales pitch was loud and nonstop. I tried to be polite, but I was stern, and and I said, please, I'm I'm trying to work. You're screaming, you're yelling, and people have open windows. It's a hot day. Can you please keep it down? Edel says she never confronted Jordan, just her mother, Erin Austin, who took this video. She calling the police on an eight-year-old little girl. You can hide all you want. The whole world gonna see you, boo. Austin tells a different story. She never asked us to be quiet. She just came out and directly demanded to see a permit to sell water from an eight-year-old. Saturday Night Live cast member Cecily Strong parodied the incident with her own video. This woman is calling the police on the flowers for drinking the water. Okay, illegally drinking my water, okay? <laughs> Illegally drinking my water. Some on social media say they're reminded of a similar incident in Oakland two months ago. A woman dubbed Barbecue Becky called police to report an African American man grilling in an area where it wasn't allowed. Some say both incidents are racially motivated. That woman thought that she could use her white privilege and it didn't work. Edel says she's now gotten thousands of hateful emails. All kinds of threats, horrible, horrible images, and death threats. Jordan says she was trying to raise money to help her mom, who recently lost her job, and go to Disneyland. Over the weekend, she got some good news. They know you want to go to Disneyland, and they bought you four tickets to go... Miguel, after Edel saw the, the firestorm that followed the video, how does she feel now? What does she say about that? Well, Edel says she's not proud of how she acted and she would apologize to Jordan and her mother, both of whom say they would not accept that apology. Guys, back to you. All right, Miguel. All right. So the video that you guys just saw, you guys didn't see it, but you will see it. 
it's a uh, little thing that I actually did. I put together today talking about it. And so, um, again, like I said, it's just another, another white woman who has joined the ranks. Um, all the other um, white women who have uh, weaponized the police, you had Holly at Starbucks. You had uh, Barbecue Becky. Barbecue and, Becky, yeah. You know, a whole host of other uh, white women just think it's cool to call a lie. Why are we doing this to people? Like the guy who called the police on Stephon Clark, um, he said he would never call 911 again. Because he didn't think that was going to go on. He thought legitimately maybe somebody was breaking in to cars or whatever he called the police for. Yeah. But this is what he's saying. And he said the fact that they did that to him, he would never ever call 911 again. And so yeah. you're not calling the police because this little girl is selling crack. And that she has to crack, you know, I don't know, you know, yeah. water, crack water, I don't know. Um, but you didn't call the police because she was doing anything bad. You, you, like, why are you calling? Are you mad because she's selling water? I mean, come help me understand, right, Daddy. Right. Right. Okay. Help me understand. You want, and, and that's why I was saying about blacks going to camps. It's not going to happen. They they make money off of us. They complain about us when we try to do something legitimate, and right. they complain about us when we do something illegitimate. Right. You can't win. Help me understand. I, I I'm, I'm confused. It's like, why are we calling the police on little girls selling water? So anyway, um. Let's see. And then Sydney says, what's up with the bay? Yeah, they, that, that's when Barbecue Bacon was from Oakland. And then this mm -hmm. lady, Allison from San Francisco. Um, and then you also say, and, the, uh, and she doesn't have a permit. Yeah, that's what my daughter was saying, that it was wrong. The word on the street is that uh, mm -hmm. Allison's permit, Patty, uh, doesn't have a permit either. So it's like, mm -hmm. now you want about my backyard, and you ain't got your right, backyard for Right, and we know from our, our research that how you can have a permit is Money. Yeah, it's like twenty six thousand dollars to have a permit, and you may or may not even get the right. license once you know they take your money. So it's like a, a gamble. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are just doing it illegal. And he says to sell marijuana, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, Tay says the hashtag permit Patty. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's what they're dubbing her now. Man, I, I just I I don't understand. It's like, but I do understand because once she tried to clarify that uh, she wasn't being racist or she wasn't. Um, trying to stop the little girl from, from making money because she understands about entrepreneurship and all this other stuff. She's mad because her mom was making all this noise and yelling. And it's like, okay, so what I heard that you didn't say is you're mad because this lady didn't bow down to she you. Mm -hmm. She didn't uh, follow your direction. Yeah, follow your direction and take your orders and just be quiet. She didn't do that, and so you're going to force the issue and weaponize the police. And um, Sean King put up something yesterday that basically says that. Uh, the police is like customer service for white people. Yeah. Hello, police. I'm having an issue. We got mm -hmm. these black people. They won't listen to me. Right. Hey, please come out here. Right. You um, know. And another thing is, okay, and I know, you know, black folks, we have a little thing with the police and stuff. And, and the services are kind of slow when it comes to certain neighborhoods in the black community, if you live in certain neighborhoods. Right. Um, if you want to get the police out, and, and please share this with anybody. Uh, you want to get the police out to your place really fast? Just mention gunplay. Gunplay? Yeah, did you just mention I heard some guns go off and they will be there lickety split faster than if you said, well, uh, they're fighting. What if you say there's a black man running around the neighborhood? Well, yeah, if you're in a white neighborhood, yeah, it's something like that. But I'm just saying, you got to be creative. What you might like, why person. can't there be a black person walking around your neighborhood? And we've seen that a lot too. Black people in a neighborhood, a white neighborhood, and then they call the police, well, you just don't look like you belong here. Right. Or where do I you look know, like I belong? You, you know, and the funny thing is, I, you know, I, I go overseas to different countries, right? I never have a problem over there with me being a black man walking around. Nobody call you know, of course we look different, but there's no and I'm not saying they want me there, but you know what I mean? I don't <laughs> have a problem. Right. You know, just being myself and then letting letting me be me. Yeah, here in America in yeah. two thousand and eighteen we're still in the wrong neighborhood. Wrong neighborhood where uh, but yet they love taking our money, but Right. And Tay says they could pull the hunger games and break us up into districts. The poorest of the poor, hungry to, hungry to survive in one district, blacks in another, yeah. and the elite rich whites um, running the show in uh, in District 1. Mm -hmm. I've never seen the Hunger Games, but I've heard uh, a lot about it. But yeah, I mean, that sounds like, uh, I mean, are we already there? I think we're already there. Are we already there? And Al says the white cop who killed the Mexican kid had a mistrial. What's crazy is, is it take a three person, a person three months to become a cop? But it takes 12 months for a person to uh, be a licensed barber. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, there's a lot of things Good that point. take a lot longer to be mm -hmm. a police officer. And then somehow they're passing these, these psychiatric evaluations, you know, but then maybe they're and like, 
you know, and then again, from, not, and, so. and then again, from Vermont, that girl that shot that uh, guy in the window in Oklahoma. On the freeway? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah uh -huh. She, after she got fired from that police department, she was hired at the next city right right over. And so. the guy who killed the little boy, uh, mm -hmm. the 17 year old rather, in uh, Philadelphia a couple of days mm -hmm. ago, he was actually fired from, I can't remember which uh, college it was, somewhere in Philadelphia, I guess. He was fired for um, brutalizing black students. Mm -hmm. And the straw that got him fired was that he actually brutalized the chancellor's son. And so that's when they had enough, you yeah, know. Enough, right. And so then he got hired on to the police department that he was in. Mm -hmm. was only sworn in three hours. And got, got involved in the military. Before he killed the little yeah. boy. Yeah, and the girl that got fired and got picked up by a thing, they even said in the evaluation during her, her adjudication case, she should not be a police officer. Her mentally, she right, so why keep making a police officer then? Yeah. You know, I exactly. guess, well, you're just killing black people, so yeah. what difference does it make what your mental state is? As long as you don't yeah. kill no white people. Right, exactly. You know, like the black cop that killed the white lady, too. They didn't you know, waste no time locking his butt up. Exactly. I wonder if he's out. What happened to Blue yeah. Lives Matter? The Blue Shield, did they raise some money from him? And Shelby, you said Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. the mm -hmm. black cop that shot the white lady, did they raise money for him? Is it that all these blue lives matter people out there? Now, now, notice we don't hear nothing about it because probably he doesn't exist anymore. You think he's, a, he's, he's missing an action? I think it's a, uh, oops. Getting Natural right causes, right, right. And yeah. They dealt with that need for right. And that's another thing. I mean, we think we can keep doing the stuff they do to get away right. with it. Right. I mean, look at all these black people missing across the nation. Is that a coincidence? Well, it's probably not a coincidence, but to your point about all the black people missing across the nation, we could be worried about other people being separated. Yeah, I mean, right there in Chicago, they said that it sounds like there's an epidemic, and it has been for a while, of black girls and women mixing. Right. You know, they don't know if they're connected or, you know, if there's a serial killer running around, but the fact of the matter is these girls and women are missing, and yet we're just hollering about immigration. Yeah. You know, because those people, depending on what their situation is, they're safe to some degree before they come over here. Right. But then once you come in, you like you knew the job was dangerous before you took it. You came over here knowing that you may get detained and all of a sudden, that's like I saw uh, a video, uh, somebody took the video of uh, the Border Patrol Sheriff or whoever they are. They're kicking over some water bottles that were left in the mm -hmm. desert for um, the immigrants. Yeah, the, like, the coyotes, right. Yeah, so people are like, oh, that's mean, that's cold. It's like, Okay, yeah, it might be cold. Y'all kicking over some water bottles and somebody might, might need it, but what is you doing in? What is what is you doing there? Yeah. What are you doing in the desert? And you know you ain't supposed to be over there. I mean, I, to me, it's just well, they have a a, a law in um, that's a legal term called clean hands. City, help yeah, me out. Yeah, it's called clean hands. You can't. I can't say take you to court for stealing selling, your weed. Yeah, stealing yeah. your weed. <laughs> stealing my weed and selling me some bad yeah, crack. Right. Because neither one of them is legal. Clean hands. So yeah, yeah, it's, like, clean hands. it's like there's there's no clean hands in that situation. You know what I mean? Right. It's not like that water belongs to somebody who was doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. The water belongs to somebody who was potentially getting ready to break the right. law. Right. And you know, like I said, you know, it, it, why is it that they, they can spend eight hundred dollars a night on people who are not legal citizens, but then when we say, oh, uh, free health care, they can't do that. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make sense. And then, uh, and Shelly says, right, and Alvin, please, you and Donovan watch the episode of Starcy and Hudson when they accidentally killed the black kids, and then they questioned their reason for being a cop. Wait, 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 isn't that the moment Healthy Bear goes, well, I don't know, but the word on the street is... Yeah, yeah I was talking <laughs> yeah. about that one time. Yeah, I, I think I can end up. And then you're asking me what my thoughts on Chicago are. Well, you're talking about as far as the girls that are missing. I mean, I don't really know. My dad called it. Um, I don't really know for sure what's going on. Um, as far as Chicago is concerned, but what I do know is, I, I mean, something needs to be done. Like we need to focus on the issue. Like, well, where, where are these girls? Who, who's taking these? Well, girls? well, well. Can I ask you this? If, if this was uh, Becky missing, do you think that they would uh, de dedicate un un numerous resources to find out what? And it would be one Becky missing. And my phone is heating up, you guys. So if it cuts out, I do apologize. It's, it's hot. It's yeah. hot here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, whatever's going on with these girls, we need to get to the bottom of that and stop being distracted. See, a lot of people probably didn't know that Chicago is having issues with girls missing, girls and women just Houston too, Houston everywhere. Mm -hmm. so our black women are turning up missing. If that's that's an oxymoron, turning up missing. 
but they're missing. And but we're so focused on something else. It's like, why don't we know that? Why don't we know what's going on in our own community? Why do we know? Why are we well versed on what's going on in everybody else's community? But we're like, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said this. Um, what the last time I heard, there was three under eight uh, minors missing, and one um, woman was like 24, 26. Um, and a, a, one of them were found dead in an um, empty building. And I actually did a video yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's an issue. But why don't we know about that? Why are we focusing our issues, uh, our, our attention on that? Why aren't our black leaders like Kamala Harris and all these other people? Hey, yes, I gotta ask the grind with Kamala. Mm -hmm. I really do. I gotta have to run with all the last leadership. But I really gotta ask the grind with her because she's now being seen as the face of hope and change. And you know, she's this black woman or whatever the case is, but she rarely talks about black people. Right, um, what, what I hate is the Democratic Party, and I'm not a Democrat, um, they keep talking about how Obama's this bad person and it's everybody else's fault of why Trump is in office now because we didn't get, we didn't vote, we didn't get out to vote. No, the, the problem is they put up a candidate that nobody wanted. So it's the Democratic Party's fault right. that this man is in the position that he's in. And now they're telling us this chick is the go-to chick to get behind. Yeah, Kamala Harris. Yeah. And so she never talks, it never rarely says anything about black people, rarely. And she's from California, mm -hmm. so I know a little bit about her. To me, I call her Miss. Every chance I get, I call her Miss Photo. Um, oh, wow. Miss Photo Jake because she's there on the scene. Mm -hmm. She's talking, walking tall, and talking tough yeah, about um, immigration. But yeah, you got people in your own backyard, Miss Harris, right. um, who's being murdered. There's, there's another black dude in um, Sacramento who was gunned down unarmed by well, police well, officers a couple days ago. Yeah, for those that she don't know, yeah, for those that don't know, she used to be the former California Attorney General. Right. And uh, when she was talking about the children on the border, she was saying, "I was a, a former a prosecutor and Attorney General. I know what a cage looks like." Yes, she does. However, she's not telling you that when they put up the, the commutations for like certain people and the shootings and the black thing here in California, she didn't even give it one look. What should I want? Because black people are, she's like, I don't need you guys black yeah. people. Right. You guys are going to vote for me just because I'm black. Yeah, exactly. So I don't even need to champion anything, anything that you, you do. Have. And then uh, Charles, you're saying, wow, they all say Kamala's, uh, is she Hillary's light slash Obama 2.0 married to a white man? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. 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 She is. That's what I've actually heard them call her the second coming of, of Obama mm -hmm. and all that other With stuff. With the feminine agenda, yeah. They, they, they're trying to wrap her up and then say, this is who we're going to run. Right. No, but, I ain't voting for but, Kamala. But I'm going to tell you this. If the Democrats put her up, people are tired of the Democratic Party telling us who our leaders are. If we're telling you we don't want that person, they should listen to that. Right. Well, and if they don't listen to it, Trump will be there for another four years. But we're going to call for a hook, line, and sinker. Right. And yeah. Trump will be there for another four years. Right. And then uh, Cindy says, intent, go to the store asking for sugar, but you get coke. Mm. You can't buy, oops, so you can't, um, you can't be arrested asking for, come, uh, but you get sugar, you can be arrested. Um, I think I might have jumped with that up, mm. and I think you were speaking to the clean hands law. Yeah, yeah. And then Ali says, how about this kidney was fired from Atlanta House line? What? Oh, wait, time out. Wait, we, we got to go figure it out. Let's, let's get some facts on is she still pregnant though, Al? See how we, you, you see what I'm saying? See how we know all that stuff? <laughs> yes, yes, my brother. Yes, yes. Educate us. Arson, you say you Americans need more than just the two parties, is all I can say. Yes. By the way, Obama never used to say much when all black people were being shot by cops non stop under his presidency. He Absolutely. still doesn't say anything. Yeah, he still doesn't say anything. He still doesn't say anything at yeah. all. If you so watch our other show or listen to my individual podcast, I talk about that all the time. Mm -hmm. He was put there for a specific reason to stop the free fall and the Occupy Wall Street right. movement across the United States. That's right. why he was put there. We've been waiting ever since. He still doesn't say anything yeah. at all. He won't say a thing. He, he won't say a thing. It's just. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, I think he made a comment, oh, if I had a black son or Trayvon, yeah. it would have been my son. Right, but he was very careful in his words. Right, he didn't want to piss off the his Because cabinet. remember, most of his cabinet were Wall Street, Hillary right. type people. So. I mean, it's like, brother, you ain't in the office now, why can't you say something? You know? Say something! Thank you. Stop killing black people, something. Um, and then Charles, you say, absolutely, Democrats doubling down on um, 
on no losing strategy. Mm -hmm. They thought to Trump still won't turn over leadership and power to the progressives. Nope. Now they want us to keep on voting for the same old Nancy Pelosi, all, all of them. Mm -hmm. And we'll do, it. we'll do it. And we will do it. And then uh, Al said she lied about her pregnancy and that was the final straw. Lord have mercy. So she wasn't pregnant? <laughs> and she's still married. What about Kim Zolak? Candy Bear? Y'all got issues. <laughs> yeah. I stopped watching after season six. Is that what it took? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You finally got the hint yeah. after season six? Yeah. Yes, yes. Is uh, Phaedra coming back? <laughs> I can't believe this. Marcus says, okay, Donovan, I do need the info for your podcast then. Thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll send that yeah. to you. And so, uh, what time we got? We got so we got about 15, 15 minutes. minutes. What else you guys want to talk about? Donna, do you have anything on the on the ticker that you were trying to dine to talk about? Anybody? On the ticker? Well, no, this is your show, but uh, me and Afro Thunder are thinking about uh, <laughs> uh, vacationing down in uh, Cabo. Cabo, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I was there eight days and I was ready to go out. Okay, well, uh, as she knows, I only need 15 minutes, so we we'll just go to the Marriott first. How about that? What y'all do is y'all do. <laughs> Al, Al is going to give us all the the um, the, uh, the malt liquor for black people report. Yes. And he says that power does return next Sunday. Yes, it does. Yes, it and does. And he's saying that's way too much damn information. <laughs> I'll put the damn in there, okay? Right, that's too right. much information. Yes, Al is going to give us the um, nigga dumb report mm -hmm. from, <laughs> from television. Uh, okay, power comes on next Sunday. Yes. Well, you know what? What I do want to talk about, though, for those of you guys that are veterans, they um, have programs where in certain amusement parks and stuff, if you got kids or whatever, there's no reason why you should uh, be My paying. Thing yeah. to be there you go. Uh, there's no reason why you should be paying for that when there's uh, programs there where they will give you free tickets to go to Disneyland, Six Flags, and all this other stuff. If you guys look it up and do some little research. Um, I go to these amusement parks in California every year for free. So uh, look it up. If you got any questions? I'll direct you Donovan to the is, place. Is the veteran go to? Yes, Charles. I don't. I guess they felt like we needed to know that. You know, uh, <laughs> who was it? Uh, what's the child's name on oh, Land Housewives just said? Um, uh, what's somebody's name? not pregnant. And got oh, Kenya. Kenya. She's not pregnant. Kim Zoliak's daughter talking again. Do we need to know that? Well, I, well, I think we do because when you because because no, stop it. because when no, people well, are that you when, people, that. when people are looking at these black women and you know the, you know they're looking at that thinking that that's normal or that's the way it's going to be. It's not because all this all it's doing is objectifying black women, and I think that is wrong. Uh, what's her name? Um, that was married to the football player. Uh, she's real pretty, whatever. She was running around in a. Um, uh, Aston Martin that she leased for over $100,000, but yet she had her child laying in a room, a ch uh, Chateau Charest, Charest oh, Rabbit, yeah, crazy. in a room with no furniture in it, on a little mattress. We gotta stop this. Just stop this madness. Stop the madness, you know? Stop the madness. Stop the ratchetness. The ratchetness. The ratchetness. All right, here we go. Al Jack goes to the yes. show. Walgreens is selling a pill containing by Abra and Rogan that gives you a hard head. <laughs> I think I might stop by there. <laughs> and then most of the person is outside. Why don't you go get some corn? Yeah, with some corn with mayonnaise on a watermelon stick. Yeah, a watermelon stick. Yeah, something. And I'm going to give a health tip for everybody. Okay, real health quick. tip. From Donovan. Donovan's it, health yes, tip. Yes, especially if you guys are uh, in the south where there's high humidity, drink coconut milk with the pulp in it. It is very good. Coconut milk or water? Coconut water. Water, okay. Coconut water that because it has good. electrolytes. Yeah, it has electrolytes in it and it will replenish you a lot faster than Gatorade or Sportsman. Look uh, at you. Trying to be all healthy and stuff. You know you can go get some wing coat chicken as soon as you I, I did it yesterday. I did it yesterday. With some coconut water? Yes, I did actually. Okay. And remember that coconut I had in there? Yes. Drained it. Coconut. Drank it. Good to go. And Charles says, I despise all the black reality show foolishness and Negro cele celebrity fame horse. Yeah, I do too. I do too. That, all that stuff they talking yeah. is just... It's like another language to me. So, Al says, give us a financial tip. Financial tip. I'm going to give you guys this. Go to, uh, there's a lot of apps out there, Stash, uh, a lot of uh, investing apps. Oh, I thought it'd be in our dividend. We lost. We lost? No, no, no. We, we, got, we, we got gained dividends. dividends. Yeah, yeah we gained a dividend. But um, 
what, what, what these apps do, they take the middleman out of this. You don't need a broker. So that'll take a lot of money to help you save. So uh, me, and, me and D and I are investing in marijuana because fools are going to smoke we it anyway. We ain't smoking it. We just invested right. it. And we just got a dividend off of it. And we own 10, what, we own 10 shares right now and we keep buying every week. Is that Bahamas money? Or is that San Bernardino money? Uh, don't matter oh. to me. It don't matter to me. <laughs> However, um, I'm going to tell you guys, invest in the marijuana stock, even if it's at a, um, right now it's going for like $35 a stock. So if you can get one, two, three shares, 10 shares, that, they predict that that is going to triple by, in two years. We'll wait for it. Yes. I mean, we already got tried to get our dividends already. Right. Yeah. So, um, if I have to give a financial tip, I always just tell people, never spend more than you make. I don't care, you don't need a budget. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess if some people need a budget, I don't need a budget. For me, as simple as don't spend more than you make. And look for the deals, like I just told you about free. The deal masters, yes, exactly. deals. And I always yes. ask, uh, do you have a special coupons mm -hmm. yeah. on and stuff? But Military discount, it all adds up in the end. Yeah, yeah. Really they're saying it's awesome information. Mm -hmm. I can't say Denise or Donovan should have their own TV show. We're working on it. Too. We're working on we it. gotta find us, um, right now, they just don't have to do, right? Well, well, no, I, I wrote Oprah and she, she replied, uh, she Oprah. said, F you. <laughs> Oprah said, now I'm yeah, not telling exactly. you to go. We're she not telling you to go. You said, you two have been talking. <laughs> you know, you've been talking yeah. about Oprah. No, no. You've no. been talking about no, Oprah. No. no, she said, Oprah. you two have been talking the whole time these people have been up here. Let me whip the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> that lady was not Oprah. And she said, wow. Listen, we're never going to be on Oprah. Yes. Donovan has made sure yes. that's the same. And then Al says, ask the ND what direction uh, does the sneeze travel at you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but and that's what I say. They really just don't spend more than you make. Yeah, you to make. me, it's that simple. Mm -hmm. You bring, you make it five dollars. Mm -hmm. Don't spend six. Right, right. Spend three, two. Exactly. No matter how much money you make. I mean, we know people who they I have this great job and making six figures, but you find you. you you got like minimum wage in the bank. Right. Uh, you know? Real talk. I have friends that make six figures. Be careful they, now. Be careful and now. And they are broke. And they're broke. broke. No, I have friends that make six figures and they're yeah. broke. Well, that's a lot of people. Yeah. That's and, a lot of and, people. and they're broke. And that's why I tell people, don't come to California. Do not come to California. This is a great place to visit. You do not want to live there. Right. Our son says, yes, it's going to be completely legal on our side by October 17th. What mm -hmm. are some of the companies you recommend I look into? I already have some stock in there, but so not sure who to risk the money on. Just, just Google cannabis stock and it'll give you the whole gamut of what's out. Just put cannabis stock in the Google search bar and it'll tell you all of the companies that are going. And right now in the United States, we don't have any. These are international companies. Uh, and one of the companies that is in it is RJ Reynolds. If you know who RJ Reynolds company so they are waiting for the legislation to pass so they, they can monopolize the industry so they can sell cigarettes cigarettes exactly right. that, that's exactly what's going to happen cigarettes exactly yeah that's exactly what's going to happen is that how you smoke I've never smoked before mm -hmm. but that's exactly what's going to happen and I strongly recommend doing that and, and invest in some um, uh, cannabis stocks okay well there you have it and now says don't forget Nita Baker gets her lifetime achievement award tonight on what show not I mean yeah now. that's the DQ award how do you know you got no, uh, no, no. Already, no. I, I stopped watching award shows. That's for Kimston Hope. That's not lying. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Anita deserves every yeah, award she, she gets. Um, I hope she comes out here. I would love to see Anita. Yeah, I just don't want her ex husband to show up. Why? Y'all got beef or something? No, no, they, they had bad beef. Oh, like ugly. Side piece or something? No, no, no. Hey, okay. I, I did that back in the day. You did or you would? I would. Oh, if I could say. I I mean, that's a whole other show yeah, right there. I would. I mean, she, she got money. See, if you don't do it, you don't, you know, hey, I'll take one for the team. She's got some money. Do it. I see brothers get with chicks that are broke. And you'd be like, okay. Y'all see what I got to deal with? <laughs> and Arthur says, okay, thanks, guys. I knew you guys would have good pointers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we got two nickels to rub together, maybe. Well, I, I got two pennies. He's got yeah, yeah. $200 bills to rub together. I'm, I'm, wor I'm working on it. And I, another good example, if there's some project you can do, do for yourself, do them for yourself. I put my kitchen in and it saved me $15,000 uh, doing it myself. He did it himself. I was here. And uh, I'm getting ready to put some new windows in my house, which is going to save on the energy bill. They're yeah. more efficient. My house is 37 years old. If you can do it, and it's not that hard. Just YouTube it, watch the thing. Bam, bam, bam. Put your stuff in. If you really don't know what you're doing, you know, get a carpenter. Somebody to help you. Yeah, help you do it. And right. uh, ask questions and right. save some money. So by putting my windows in myself, that's going to save me another $10,000. Right. All right. Well, I can help you 
figure out what to do with the baby in your life. Well, Amanda's got that handle. Yeah. Okay, I have to talk to her. You, you saw that picture you sent me that you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, ah. I sleep on that every night. Okay. <laughs> okay. Al says BET needs broadcast every ten minutes. I get it. I thought it stood for uh, Black Entertainment for teenagers. So. Either one. So anyway, that's all we got, you guys. We don't have anything else. We are gonna let you go yes. unless you got something else to talk about. It is our pleasure as always to do it. We will be here next week. Is there anything going on next week? Uh, no? no, nothing going on next week. But please tune in if you want to see the uh, live uh, video cast. We're gonna oh yeah. Put that up yeah, and, uh, he's gonna put that up and so. We are going to get out of here all sweaty and everything, and we will talk to you guys later. See you guys on Facebook. Please have a great rest of your day. Two and two. Peace.